to this month's edition of Style Sal's Beauty Balance. I am your host, Holly Nelson. And in honor of 2021, I'm going to be meeting with Dr. Teresa Jarmus and Kelly Clay of Buckhead Facial Plastic Surgery to go over a couple of my very favorite treatments to get us new year, new you ready. First, Dr. Jarmus is going to tell us all about my go-to injectable, Sculptra. Sculpture is not a filler. Fillers are generally, we think of the hyaluronic acids, like the Juvederms, the Restylane. Those are substances that when they're injected underneath the surface of the skin, they plump immediately. They last a certain amount of time and then they degrade over about a six month to maybe a one year time period. So there's no long lasting benefit. Sculpture is the opposite. When that's injected underneath the surface of the skin, it's a biostimulant. So it upregulates all the genes in your body that normally produce collagen and it revs them up and makes them produce your own natural collagen over time. So it'll take about two or three weeks before you really see the change from it, but it'll give you a much more long lasting and natural benefit. So one of the beauties of Sculptra is that it's a gradual result. So we don't see the results immediately. It'll take about two to three weeks for you to see the majority of the changes. So for my patients, I have them come back four weeks after their treatment and we put side-by-side -side photos up because they are such subtle gradual changes that are cumulatively growing day by day that the best way to see it is in a 30-day side-by-side. Um, fortunately, these results last. Since it's your own collagen that you're producing, two years is still there in some studies up to five. So it gives you much more long-term change. So the amount of sculpture someone requires can vary depending on how much volume loss they have, and sometimes it depends on their age as well. So for most patients, they'll start with one vial, that's typical. For some of my young patients, my 20 and 30 year olds that don't have much volume loss or are just trying to build up a cheekbone, they may take a fourth of a vial. So it all depends, again, but we never do more than a vial to start. So sculpture's an injection. We use topical cream to numb the skin, so that reduces any pain and sensitivity from the actual injection itself. Plus there's a little bit of lidocaine that's in the sculpture, so it's more comfortable as it goes on. And most patients can have a conversation right through it, so it's not particularly painful. In terms of side effects, so you have to choose sculpture for the right patient population. We can't use it in patients who have collagen vascular diseases because they can make unpredictable amounts of collagen. So in our healthy patient population, it's generally very safe. However, you have to use it in the right way and in the right quantities. So we go slowly, we distribute it evenly, otherwise there is a risk of getting too much collagen in one area and that can be a lump or a bump, so we don't want any of that. And in fact, they're more common to have lumps or bumps or nodules in the hyaluronic acid injectables as opposed to in Sculptra, but that is one thing that we do look out for. Next, Kelly Clay, lead esthetician at Buckhead Facial Plastic Surgery, will be telling us all about my very favorite go-to facial when I'm looking for that gorgeous glow, the hydrofacial. This patient is coming in today for a hydrofacial deluxe. This is a facial we offer that does many things. It cleanses, it extracts, it hydrates, it makes the skin glow, it leaves things plump, hydrated helps with any kind of blemishes, any kind of congestion. We're gonna add in some boosters today, the Elastin booster that has the Trihex technology. That really is great for plumping the skin, fine lines, wrinkles, and hydrating. We also are going to do the Glycel booster, that's glycolic salicylic acid, which is a bit tingly, and that's going to really decongest the skin, really dissolve any sebum, oil, just junk in the pores and exfoliate that top layer of the skin. It helps with extractions as well. It basically sucks out the dirt and debris in our pores and uses those chemical exfoliants to help dissolve any debris and dead skin. We also are gonna do some blue and red light. These are lights that we're gonna use. The blue light is gonna help with any oil, any bacteria, any breakouts. I'm gonna focus primarily with the red lights on this patient. That's anti-aging, it helps with any inflammation, it helps after extractions, and it's good for just a boost, makes the skin look really kind of plump and fresh. This facial is great for anybody. That's something you can do once a month. It's definitely great before events, before travel. Um, if you're just feeling like your skin's looking a little lackluster, it's an instant um, freshen up. And it not only leaves you looking good, but it really is medicinally great for your skin. You're getting a good exfoliation, lots of good peptides and solutions and hydroxy acids and vitamins. Thank you so much for joining me today. As always, with much love and gratitude. Until the next time.